All right, nothing. This is not mission critical, but just some other items to know about stock redemption. First off, we got a proportional redemption. Now, when a corporation redeems its stock proportionally among all shareholders, it's generally treated as a taxable dividend. Shareholders are going to be taxed at the dividend tax rate, which depends on your individual tax bracket and holding period. Got those different tax rates. For disproportionate redemption, well, when a corporation redeems its stock disproportionately, meaning that the percentage of ownership among remaining shareholders changes, the transaction may be treated as a capital gain or loss. In this case, shareholders will report capital gains or losses depending on the difference between the redemption price and their basis in the stock. So these are all just diff different situations and understanding kind of what goes on in each of these. What about a partial liquidation of the corporation? Well, when a stock redemption occurs as a part of a partial liquidation, it's going to be considered an exchange of stock. Shareholders will report capital gains or losses based on the difference between the amount received in the redemption and their basis in the stock. What about a complete buyout of a shareholder? We have a situation where maybe a larger company or an investor comes in and just buying out the entire company and buying out all the shareholders. When a corporation redeems all of the shares of a single shareholder, the transaction is going to be treated as an exchange of stock. The shareholder will report capital gains or losses based on the difference between the redemption price and their basis in the stock. Redemption not equivalent to a dividend. Well, if a stock redemption is not essentially equivalent to a dividend, it will be treated as an exchange of stock. Now, this can occur in certain situations, such as when the redemption results in a meaningful reduction of the shareholder's interest in the corporation. And we have last up here, redemption to pay estate taxes or expenses. If a stock redemption occurs to allow a deceased shareholder's estate to pay estate taxes or related expenses, the transaction is treated as an exchange of stock. The estate's going to report capital gains or losses based on the difference between the redemption price and the basis in the stock. That's about all we got for you today. Lots of great stuff with corporations. Let's wrap it up with a nice summary. Hey there. Are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material. We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.